Hey everybody, it's Ross and happy Palm Sunday. Not that palm, but this palm. These are palm branches. Hosanna, Hosanna. That's what they said to Jesus. They were waving their palm branches as a sign of respect as they would to a king. Read it in Mark chapter 11, verses 1 through 11. It's a fascinating passage of scripture. Palm Sunday, that's what it is. That's what it is before the Sunday of his resurrection. And what was interesting about the passage, did you get one of these at church? I hope so. Oh, how did that palm tree get in the back of my car? Giving it to a friend. I thought they would be encouraged by that being Palm Sunday. But they were shouting out, Hosanna, Hosanna, which means save us now. Save us now. That's what Hosanna means. So Jesus was coming in on a donkey that had never been ridden before. Interesting enough, if somebody said, well, what's that all about? Why is that so important? Typically, those details are extremely important because they're fulfilled prophecies. Back in Zechariah chapter 9, it prophesied that Jesus, the Messiah, didn't call him Jesus in the Old Testament because they didn't know what to call him then, but it was the Messiah, and that he would ride in on a donkey in humiliation, a humble way of coming into Jerusalem on Passover. Passover was once a year. Jews from all over the part of the region were there to worship God in the temple. It was a sight to go see the temple, to walk around, to see it, to experience all the things that Passover does. But he rode in on a donkey, unlike what the Jews were looking for in their Messiah. You know, their Messiah in their mind, most, most of them, would come in on a white horse, a stallion. And that's what generals did that had overcome enemies or been victorious in battle. They would ride in procession, not on a donkey in humility, but on a white stallion in victory. And actually, if you think about it, Jesus the Messiah, God come to earth to save men from his sins, actually him riding on a donkey was a stumbling block to those who really did not want to believe that he was truly the Messiah. You know, the Messiah has been prophesied since Genesis. Why don't people believe that Jesus is the Messiah? Well, it just doesn't fit. Jesus doesn't fit their mold on what a Messiah is according to the Jewish traditions of things. But if they could read for themselves, they would read about the prophecy that Zechariah had about Jesus riding on a donkey and that he would tell his disciples to go find the donkey, that at first it would have a, they would have a problem and he said, this is for the Lord and they unleashed the donkey and gave the donkey to the disciples and Jesus rode in Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. And they wanted him to save them. But most of them were not looking for spiritual salvation. They were looking from, uh, for salvation for oppression. They were back in, in the bondage to the Romans and under their political rule. And they were looking for their Messiah to come and be victorious and conquer the Romans. It, Hosanna, they were shouting Hosanna, and it means save us now. What did they mostly mean? Save us from this physical oppression that we're experiencing with the Roman culture and being under their domination. You know, there's a much bigger application to this story. Read it for yourself in Mark chapter 11, is that you can be free even physically, but still be under spiritual oppression. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and who the Son sets free is free indeed. So they were shouting, Hosanna, and save us now, but it wasn't the salvation that Christ had them to receive. They were not going to receive it, most of them. Most of them that shouted out, Hosanna, Hosanna, were the ones that just a few days later would say, crucify him, crucify him after they realized that he didn't come to conquer the Romans physically. Only those who really believe in their own poverty of sin 
would come to know Jesus as the Messiah. Do you know him as the Messiah? Do you know him as your Lord? Do you know him as your Savior? Are you free? Has he set you free as Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God? I hope so. If not, look up a website. You'll like it. It's called needgod.com. If you're still uncertain about your eternal destiny or maybe you think you're a good person and that's what's going to get you to heaven or maybe you're a certain denomination or religion and you think that's going to get you to heaven go to a website needgod.com you'll be glad you did but wherever you are i hope you're celebrating the right way on psalm or should i say palm sunday hosanna he has saved us for from our sins and from the power and the penalty of sin, that's a much greater freedom than being shackled physically. Wouldn't you agree? So I hope to see you down the road. Palm, not Psalm. Palm, not this Palm, but Palm Sunday. Hosanna, Hosanna. Save us now. Has he saved you? Hopefully you'll go to the website and check it out for yourself. Until next time, hope to see you down the road somewhere. And always remember my motto do what you can, where you can, when you can, the best you can, but do something. God will never, ever let you down in that way. Also, look at my YouTube page and my Facebook page for videos on lots of different subjects. Food, fun, faith, family, and friends. Until next time, see you down the road. Take care and God bless.